Hi, this is Robbie from Southern California. And look at Gary. He's just come in. It's cold. It's dark outside. Look, look how dark it is outside. And I came in to see what's going on. So what's going on in your room? Can you show me? Yep. So there's a dragon fruit. They got oh. yellow with the thin skin. I've got two to come up now. Oh my gosh. Which I'm happy about that. And the little pencil boxes, you know, I grow peppers that are growing peppers already. Oh my. And which kind is this? And these are guavas. These, these ones from these Debbie? Debbie's guavas, yep. So are they on both sides? Or you only no, just on one side. The other side I planted dragon fruit, but those seeds didn't come up. Okay, and you've got kitty litter in there too. Yep. How'd you mix it? Like I mixed it 50, that time, what, half, day, half, half and half? Half and half. So this is half and half. That oh, there in the center is half okay. and half. And then you're sifting when you need to? Yep. Look at that. Nice. There's your seed tray. Oh, look at this. It's very humid. It's very warm in here. It's cold outside and yep, warm in nice here. Warm in so here. what are these right now? These are yellow dragon fruit. These are... All of them? What about this? That's not. No, that's um, the guavas. Oh, those are from Debbie again? Yep. So you planted some in here and some no, in... I moved them from here to here because they were getting too tall. Oh, okay. So you're taking them out of the pencil boxes. Yeah, I just pick them up, stick them in. And I had a few squash that I moved out of there too. I moved the kabocha out today. I set them. Where did I set them? Oh, there's my plants. Look at this. I don't know if anybody remembers, but I went to the store and picked up a leaf. This is one leaf, and it grew into two beautiful plants, which I have to get oh, out of here. Right. Look at all my dragon kibotra. fruit from last year. Kabocha I put in here. Okay. So you got kabocha growing in there, and then you've got all this dragon fruit. Yep. Some of it's grafted. These are tip graftings. I've got a few other grafting ones along here too. So these are all the regular ones? Are these any, are there, what are these? Uh, well, these will be peloras. So these are tip grafting peloras and V grafting peloras, a couple of those there. And I've got another, one of the uh, cuttings from the fruit I ended up grafting onto there. I took it out of there because one of them rotted. I took one out and I grafted on it. So the original one's doing well. It's setting root. So it seems to be stable. My original one, so which is that one. Oh, this is actually from a fruit from the grocery from store. Fruit from the grocery okay, store. Okay, so, so one rotted, you said? It's one rotted, and the other one I got a bit nervous about, so I grafted it onto a cutting. So you took, took a piece. Okay, took, I see what you're out, saying. Yeah, I know. Out, grafted it onto the I cutting. I completely forgot about those. And let, I want to see that again. So that is from when you went to the store, you found one with a, enough stem that you're going to work with. Yeah. So oh, hopefully it's going to make it. It's very small. It's got small roots on it. It's, you know, I've got a lot of hope for it. I'm hoping it's going to do well. Oh, my gosh. I really should stick some seeds in here. I'm, I'm working with my own little little seed starter setup I did, which is working fantastic. I'm really happy with it, but I'm not quite ready to start too much stuff. So are you buying another property to put your 5,000 dragon fruit on? Like we can afford it. No, we've got enough. We've no. We've got enough property. How are you going to, where are you, in the world, are you actually going to keep all these? Well, some of them don't make it. So. You keep saying that, but these are, these would have been what, three times the size, if not bigger, if they would have been planted. Look how big yeah. they are. Well, I'm working on a trellis for them right now. So. so you're, these are all mine from last year, right? Yeah. In the are, pencil box. Yeah, these are from last year. And they came out of the pencil box finally. Yeah. And a lot of these are from this year. So, some are out of the pencil box, but some are from this year. So all, all these here are from this year. These are the ones I started earlier, late last year, I should say. And then I've got the other ones I've got set up in the oh bottles. My, a little terrarium. A terra oh my gosh. Terrarium. terrarium. I couldn't get it out. Some ju jungle in a jar. Look at that. And they're doing pretty good. So, so some are growing better than others. So I'm, I'm going to leave them in here for as long as I can. And these are seeds that I put in there. So 
you direct sewed them in there. Direct sewed them in there. Oh and my gosh. Took longer to germinate, but they're doing well. So like 90% of the stuff in here is dragon fruit. Right now it is, yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna start soon. Oh, look, there's my cilantro. They're doing, oh gosh, they went to seed. I've gotta take the seed off and that's my other mushroom plant down there from outside. What happened? Knocked this off the top. And you just sit them there? Yeah, it didn't. This one didn't take. So you could either recut it or put it in soil. Yeah, I could re recut it or not worry about it. No, this is the one you're putting on top. It's just yellow. Yeah, that was a yellow. That was a pelora. That one didn't take. So I can see it didn't it take. Off. That's why it fell off. I just sort of bumped it slightly, but some of the other ones seem to have taken. Couldn't you, if you set them on top, could you take a cap, uh, some sort of little jar, and just sit it on top, like lay it on top to give a little pressure? Well, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. Oh, I see. You've wrapped some. Yeah, so some of these are just sitting on top, and some of them are taped down, yes. Okay, so you're doing it different ways. I'm doing it a few different ways, just to see if things work out well. And now the sticks in there, just to hold them? They're That's to... The sticks are to hold the cuttings upright okay. because they aren't fully rooted yet. Oh my goodness. I just came walking over here just to see what's going on. Do you have heat mats in here or not in here? Just here. These are the only, that's the only spot I've got heat mats. Yeah, because it's really warm in here. Yeah, it traps the heat during the day and then it slowly releases it at night. It's nice in here. Soon I can get, hopefully when it warms up, and get my colantra out. I really should get down there and pull seeds off of it. I don't know if I want to grow that much more. I didn't even eat any of it. We gave one to our neighbor. Yeah. I forgot. I wonder how that one turned out. I forgot to ask them. Okay. Well, let me pan around a little bit, take a look. And these, the bases are, or what are the bases of these? Are these like bases ours? Are what? Okay, our, which are really good. Yeah. Okay, so you're using ours that grow like a weed all over the garden. Yeah. And that's what you're going to graft on because they grow so good here. Yeah, I've started them in water a little bit. As soon as the very first sign of a root, like that, I don't think there's a root form on, on these ones yet. The very first sign of a root, I put them in potting soil because they're not a water plant. So that one, I think, might be starting to form a root. Wow. And that mat is on. I mean, it's plugged that, that in. That is on. Okay. I haven't found any difference between starting them in water or starting them in soil. I know a lot of people start them in water, and they, if they're doing well with it, well, that's good. But I'd prefer to get them started in soil. Okay. Anything else you want to say? I think that's no, a that's nice, it. quick, I hadn't even, I just opened up my camera and thought, let's go for it. And this is really cool quick little update on what's going on in this room. Look at this. Back up. Your little man cave. <laughs> you got your lights and everything. I've got my mirrors. I've got everything set up in here. <laughs> the mirrors bring in more light? Yeah. Oh, they really reflects, light. It reflects light. anything that comes in reflects back to, to my plants. So. The whole wall, the wall behind you, this wall. Are these medicine cabinets or just mirrors? They're mirrors off medicine cabinets. And then you have a you have two medicine cabinets here. Yeah. I know you love buying them at the thrift stores. Yeah, I've got two two because you can store things. Two functional medicine cabinets here, where I can take my tools, and whatever, and and then the rest. The rest I just fr framed the took the glass off and framed them so they wouldn't take up as much space. Because I don't need them to take up a lot of space. And then this was a closet door, a sliding closet door that I mounted onto the wall. So. And the other one's behind you. Oh, and the other one behind me too. And like there's a mirror, a window there that I rarely open. That's facing west. That's facing south. 
And during the day, I just open this up and draw the blinds. And that allows, that allows I'll be careful. During the day. So I just close it up at night and that traps the heat in. Oh my gosh. These blinds are old. They were here when we bought the house. Hey, they hung, you know, they lasted. They're still going strong. And the mirrors, I think this is from jumping out of cars. Every time you see somebody throw something away. Yeah, when someone's renovating, you drive around and find them. I was with you. I remember when you found these, right? Yeah. I remember that. I, I don't remember if it took two trips or what on that one. I think I had to go back to get them. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, say goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. Now, if you like this video, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, if, give it a thumbs up, a, a like, share it. And if you'd like to leave a comment, feel free to leave a comment. With that, thanks for watching. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Goodbye. Bye-bye.